From the Daily Wire, animated gay teen romance film is Woke Disney's latest box office bomb. Woke Disney's right, I like that. Everything they've been putting out lately has been super, it's either woke or trash or both. I mean, uh, whether it's Star Wars, which they completely killed, I don't even think it's salvageable anymore, Star Wars. Marvel's pretty much dead with some very, very few exceptions. Uh, really just Spider-Man, that's kind of half Sony anyway. Everything they've been putting out, Pixar, has been horrible. It's been trash. Everything on Disney Plus has been horrible. I don't know if you guys seen Kenobi, but that was absolute trash. Endor is so bad, they're actually putting it on other streaming services because they can't get anybody to watch it. It's it's they're so focused on their woke agenda. They that's what the first and foremost. They think about the script and everything else last. It's always what message are we trying to uh, indoctrinate people with, specifically kids. We want to brainwash them. We'll worry about the content later, whether it's good or not. We'll throw some villains and heroes in there and see what happens. But our woke agenda comes first and foremost. We even had leaked videos, as you guys probably have seen, where they said they they have a you know not so secret gay agenda. Showrunners were super welcoming. Meredith Roberts and like the, the our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so uh, they they want to have at least fifty percent of their characters LGBT and all this stuff. And especially with like trans characters. You can't see if someone is trans. There's not one way to look trans. And so kind of the only way to have these like canonical trans characters, canonical asexual characters, canonical bisexual characters is to give them stories where they can like be their whole selves. I mean, I don't want to be fed politics, whether it's left or right. I just want to enjoy things again. You know, movies, comic books, video games. It's like it's always got to be shoved down our throat. I you know, watch movies, go to the movies, uh, play video games, and I have to get away from politics for a little bit. That's my break. You know, and everyone left or right, you need a break from politics. I'm telling you, you'll be so much happier and better off if you just take a break. But we can't get that because now everything is uh, being political. Sports is already dead. I don't watch sports anymore. Disney's latest agenda pushing project is off to a brutal start at the box office. Strange World. An animated film featuring a gay teen romance opened Wednesday with a poor $4.2 million in ticket sales and is projected to bring in as little as $21 million over what would what should be a strong holiday weekend. That's true. Everybody has off. That's, that's kind of the weekend to do it if you're going to drop a film. The film, which pushes a sexual orientation and climate agendas, oh, how original, is on track to be Disney's latest overwoke nightmare. I feel like I just regurgitate that for every film. Climate change gay. Climate change gay. Sometimes a little bit of both. That's a terrible result for a $180 million budgeted animated adventure. Um, noting that last Thanksgiving's Dis Disney's film Encanto was deemed a disappointment after taking in $40.3 million over the long weekend. Disney alienated many of their fans earlier this year when it featured a lesbian kiss. Light, uh, in Lightyear, the latest installment in the Toy Story franchise, the company also did not feature the conservative actor Tim Allen as the voice of Buzz Lightyear, which bombed at the box office. Yeah, uh, Lightyear did horrible. Even from critics, it really wasn't that good. I think it was like 70%. Uh, but overall, it did horrible at the box office. As Disney, this is Ben Shapiro on Twitter, as Disney begins pushing Strange World for next week's release, here's the reminder that they're not so secret a gay agenda to target kids is ongoing. It's part of a plot of this movie, just as it was with Lightyear. Your kids, your choice. I'll link all my sources in the description below. Strange World tells the story of gay Ethan, gay teen Ethan, voiced by Jabuki Young White. Okay. Is that his name? Jabuki? Jabuki. Jabaki Young White. All right. That is, uh, that is uh, a name. Who <laughs> has the support of his loving biracial. Oh, biracial. Got to throw that in there every single time. <laughs> God forbid, biracial parents, search, searcher Jake Gyllenhaal. Is that his name? Searcher? Searcher, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Mirandian, Mirandian, played by Gabrielle Union. He's got, people got some interesting names here. The family rejects its uh, fabled heritage as explorers to farm, but ends up pulled back into the family business to search for their father, Jaeger, played by Dennis Quaid, who went missing when he was a child. They're, sir, wait, what? They're, for Searcher's father, who went missing when he was a child. Oh, when Searcher was a child. I'm like, how do you have kids? To add? That was confusing. The search aided by their disabled dog. <laughs> I'm just imagining them, like, pitching this. Like, all right, so we got these gay teenagers. Totally gay. We got the biracial parents. A disabled dog. A small gay black midget with pink hair. <laughs> it's like, that's brilliant. 
<laughs> it's all it takes. What's the story about? Who cares? We got our cast. We got our woke cast. Um, where did I leave off? Uh, by their disabled dog, a strange world with a fragile ecosystem. Ethan struggles to get past the shyness around his love interest, a boy named Dizio. Dizio. Do you have normal names like Frank and Bob? Also gay. Seattle team times. <laughs> I can't even, I, I'm so messed up by the by the names. All right. <laughs> Seattle Times wrote that the film features an uneasy marriage of clunky psychodrama and overwrought special effects that made it a chore to sit through. I mean, again, even if you take out the wokeness, it's it's been a chore to sit through a lot of Disney films in the last couple of years. They they've been horrible. I, I'll like watch them if they're on Disney Plus, uh, but I cancel on Disney Plus now, so I guess I can't. Um, but they've been horrible. Even the, the, the Star Wars series and all that on Disney, it's just been crap. Everything with Disney has been crap. Will the new CEO change that? Because, you know, they swap CEO, CEOs out. Got a, I don't know his name, Bob something, uh, who used to be the CEO. Now they got him back after their numbers are doing horrible. Their stock is dropping. In addition to flopping at the box office, Strange World is not upholding Disney's tradition of animated success. It earned a cinema score, a rating of B, the lowest rating ever at Disney, for a Disney animated film. Yikes. Every Disney animated film since Beauty and the Beast has received some form of an A, from an A plus to an A minus. The film also had very mediocre scores from audience, including 59% on Rotten Tomatoes. Disney's, uh, this is uh, Rosie's online safety on Disney, or on Twitter. Disney's Pixar's new left-wing propaganda film, Strange World, is bombing at the box office. Main character is gay. Check. Biracial couple. Check. No white people. Check. Is that true? No white people? I thought I saw a white person on the poster. I could be wrong. Unless he's just not counting them. No straight white people. I don't know. Someone can correct me in the comments who's seen it or knows about it. Climate change metaphor, check. Even the dog is disabled, check. Now, that made me laugh. Disney has also ticked off conservatives by showing a transgender man purchasing tampons in a TV series. Riveting content. And empathetic embracing the trend of environmental, social, and governance. A strategy that courts investors by promoting a host of woke values within the corporate uh, structure. Entertainment giant fire deal. We mentioned that already. Yeah. I mean, is the CEO swap enough to save Disney from their TV series, whether it be Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, just Disney as a whole, from their TV series, from their movies? It has been all crap lately. Couldn't even rely on Kingdom Hearts 3. God, don't even bring that trash up to me. Everything they've been doing or involved with in any way has been absolute trash with the exception of Spider-Man. But either way, I don't want politics shoved down my throat, whether it be video games, movies, all that. It's, it's annoying. It's cringy. I've had enough of it. Most people had enough of it. That's why Disney is doing horrible. And either they're going to have to, you know, change course and do something about it, which there are rumors that they've already had discussions about laying off on the woke stuff. I don't know if that's true. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below. Did you see this movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are people overblowing this? I want to know from you guys if you've seen it or if you know, just know a lot about it. I don't know, really know much about this film. Uh, they, they come out with the, you know these animated films so quickly, and I feel like every single one's the same thing. Super woke. <laughs> That's all here. Oh, they came out with a new woke animated film. Like, didn't they just do that like five days ago? I'm getting them all mixed up now, but we'll see what happens with Disney. You guys can let me know if well, what you think is going to happen with Disney. Uh, if the CEO, a CEO will change things. I don't think so. You guys can follow me on my socials, Getter. Uh, truth, all that. We'll see if I'm back on Twitter tomorrow. Apparently, Elon Musk is supposed to do a uh, amnesty thing for everybody. I don't really care if I'm back on or not, but you guys can check out all my social links in the description below. Follow me on Rumble. Rumble has been so good to me. If you're watching on Rumble, smash that Rumble button. I appreciate you guys so much. We do live streams over there. They've been great lately. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Whoever everyone had a good holiday, and I will see you guys next time.